Hello guys, today we have a second video of a mini-series of three videos about Laravel reports and another example of an interesting report with a twist of grouping the data in collection or in sub-select of Eloquent. The original example is this or in fact this is the result of the query. The actual example comes from a very old post on Stack Overflow about report with ranges of numbers which is a pretty real life scenario. So based on the number of your meter, like electric or gas or water or something like that, you would pay different price per unit. So how to map that range to a specific number to calculate then the final cost for a month and how to perform that query for a lot of people within the same, for example, street or city or neighborhood or something like that. That could be a pretty long report. And I asked my colleague Modestas to reproduce that in two ways. The controller is just for inputting the data and passing those parameters to the service which would actually perform that query. And in that service, there are two methods. Map things with Eloquent or with SQL. Let me show you. With Eloquent, we get the usage of all the meters. For example, we limit that to a thousand people. Then we get the costs, different costs from a separate database table, which actually looks like this. So cost ranges is a very small table and meters in my case is the table with 120,000 rows deliberately for this testing quite a big amount of data. And then you're doing the collection magic. I often call that collection magic. Mapping each line of the collection of the report of the meter collection and looking for specific cost based on from and to. So this doesn't query the database anymore. We have two queries to the database, get the range and get the meter data. And then we're performing kind of a lot of loops and assigning the value to unit price and total cost for each meter billing. And in the result, you just show report with usage and unit price and total cost. And what is the alternative way? The alternative way is within the same service, SQL map. So we're doing the same meter by year and month. And then we're adding a sub select, add select, which performs the same operation of matching the prices with meter billing, but with sub query in SQL. In my opinion, it's pretty hard to read and understand at a glance. So I will show you the actual SQL query in a minute. But just to finalize the example, we select the raw data from user ID, usage, and then total cost. So the actual result, the final result doesn't change. In the blade, we still show the same data, columns of usage, unit price, and total cost. They are just queried in a different way. Now, what are the different SQL queries under the hood and which is faster? Let's take a look at Laravel debug bar. So first with the collection way, collection mapping, 4,000 record from 120K database, it took 341 milliseconds and performed three queries. So get 1,000 meters, get 1,000 users, and then probably get all the costs. That's it. So from database level, it was pretty quick. So 108 milliseconds where to query the database and then everything else is collection looping. So roughly 0 0.24 of a second is for collection looping. Now, if we do that with SQL mapping with sub select, so change that from eloquent map to SQL map and refresh, the result is this. So two queries instead of three queries because we don't need cost ranges anymore. And this is the query with sub select. We select the meters and then we select the corresponding price based on the conditions as unit price. And then we select that unit price from that sub select. As I said previously, in my opinion, it's pretty hard to grasp how sub selects work. So I suggest you to read on that. Just Google Laravel add select sub selects and stuff like that. So you need to work on at least five different examples to understand how that works, but it works faster. And that is logical in general. Usually database operations are faster than PHP and collection operations. But also it could be because of Laravel debug bar. It could be because of some visual representation, maybe. So separately, I asked my colleague Modestas to perform the comparison. So there's benchmark class in Laravel and you can DD comparing various functions. In a callback function, you can call whatever and you can perform, for example, 10 iterations. And then on the screen, it would give you the average duration of this versus this. So if we launch that, 
let's see the result from 10 iterations the average from collection is 136 milliseconds so that means without visual representation and without laravel debug bar and on average sub select is three times faster and final experiment let's remove the thousand limitations so in both remember sql map and collection map we had limit of 1000 what if we query all 120,000? It's not really a realistic scenario because I don't think anyone would run report without limitations, but just for curiosity, let's rerun that comparison with all the tables and see which is faster and by how much. And these are the results. So on average, collections is 1.6 seconds, subselect is 459 milliseconds. Pretty similar ratio just for bigger amount of data. You likely wouldn't notice a difference if you run that query for 100 records, for example, but if you get your project ready for bigger amount of data, this is something that you could consider. And in general, if you're considering working with a lot of data and you care about eloquent performance, I have a separate course, which is a pretty old one actually in 2021, but eloquent didn't change since then. So you can watch more than one hour of videos about better eloquent performance with a lot of examples including sub queries as i mentioned i will link that course in the description below it is available for premium members of laravel that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos